this is something called jackfruit. Now, uh, jackfruit is not very easy to find at all in uh, America. If um, The first time I had it was actually in China, and I got it there. It's uh, pretty, pretty easy to find there. And then um, I noticed it at a few places in, in New York, but it's, it's fairly uncommon, and whenever you do see it, it's very expensive. Uh, but in other parts of the world, it's it's very cheap. When I went to India, it was everywhere. I went to uh, an area called Kerala, which is uh, in the southern part part of India, and that's where it's said to originate. It was everywhere there. I I would pass by the jackfruit trees, you know, on a pretty regular basis. Now I'm in Malaysia, and it's also very common here. It grows pretty easily here. So uh, anytime you go to a supermarket, if you go to uh, just like a bus station or anything, people are selling this fruit everywhere, and it costs like nothing. Jackfruit is very, very big. It's actually the um, the largest tree fruit, and they can grow as much as like nearly like a hundred pounds. So they're they're very, very big, heavy fruits, and there's like actually a danger of them falling on you because if one falls on you you will probably die. They're, they're very uh, <laughs> deadly fruits, and they've got little spikes on the outside, too. Uh, well, people can eat these either ripe or unripe. In India, especially, uh, unripe fruit is very common um, for a couple of reasons. It's, it's plentiful, because they're from there. It's cheap. But also, um, so many people in India are vegetarian, and they use uh, unripe jackfruit as a, a substitute for meat. It has like a, a nickname as tree mutton. Uh, so, and, and the texture is very meat-like. It's actually uh, been related to being kind of like eating uh, like chicken, like a chickeny texture. It's very like rubbery. So I can see like why they say that. But you can't eat unripe jackfruit raw. You have to cook it. I've tried it raw, which I guess now was a mistake. Uh, and it didn't taste like anything. It's just like really like rubbery and like uh, kind of like has like a lot of little layers in it. When it gets more mature, then you start getting these nice hunky little fruits like this. Um, a lot of people think that jackfruit is related to durian because they look similar. They're both big spiky fruits. They both hang from trees and they uh, they have a similar appearance, but they're actually not related. Uh, jackfruit is, however, related to the chumpadak. And I happen to have one, <laughs> which is leaking up my room right now. I'm not. Oh God. Okay, hold on. This is a chempadak, and it smells so bad. It's really, really awful. You would think that jackfruit was related to uh, durian, because durian also reeks like hell. Uh, just because chempadaks are related to jackfruit, you'd think that the chempadak is like the missing link between jackfruit and durian, but um, I guess it's not. They're from different uh, different uh, genuses. Um, but chempadak, I'm going to have to brave another day. Uh, right now, I'm going to take the pleasant way out and tell you about um, what this tastes like. Um, First, uh, it's, it's, as you can see, it's like very smooth. It's kind of like rubbery in texture. Um, it's crunchy. And it's very, very sweet. This is, uh, I think this is actually honey jackfruit, which is even, um, which is particularly sweet. It has like a, like a slight creamy taste to it. It is um, maybe like a pineapple, like if you really had to press me. It's like if you took a pineapple and kind of took out the sour taste and made it more sweet, more mellow tasting. It's similar to uh, snake fruit or salic, if you've ever had the opportunity for that, but I'm guessing if you've had snake fruit, you've probably had this already. Like if you smell this fruit, uh, you can detect a slight funkiness. Very, very slight, but it's there. Uh, and I think that that, that comes with it, it being related to a jempadak. It kind of has almost like a 
taste similar to like Fruit Loops. It's like lots of like random like little little sweet flavors all together. So it's like pineapple-y, kind of Fruit Loopy. There's like a some sort of like taste like that. I really like it. I've gotten to the point where I've actually gotten kind of sick of it because I've been eating it so much here. Um, but yeah, another thing is that this is the seed inside uh, the jackfruit. You see this little this little seed. It's got kind of like an unpleasant uh, little sack around it. I, I'll leave you up to your own imagination of how nasty that is. Um, <laughs> but inside you have like this little this little seed here, and if you um, if you boil these or roast these, you can eat them as well. And supposedly, it's um, nice and sweet and creamy, kind of like a like a chestnut. And if you're trying to build your way up to a durian, I would call this maybe step one. Like start by eating like a bunch of jackfruit, and get used to that kind of flavor, and then maybe you can work your way up to a um, like a snake fruit. And then from snake fruit, you can go to a chempadak. And then from a chempadak, you can go to a durian. And uh, that's probably the what I'm going to try to do. Because I cannot eat durian. You're going to notice that you're not going to see me eat a durian in these videos. At least not for a while. Because I can still taste it when I ate it like four years ago. So no durian yet. But I'm starting here. And uh, I really like jackfruit. And... Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it right now. Thanks for watching.